Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and this is part of a Crash Course on Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to learn how to use the scroll component. The scroll component allows you to add smooth scrolling to your prototypes. Awesome stuff. Let's get started. With the scroll component, you can create the smooth scrolling typical of mobile apps. You can make any layer or group scrollable by adding a scroll component. Let's start by creating a simple scrollable list. Here in this file, I have a group of rectangles that create a list. The first thing that I need to do is add a target to this list, and then I'm ready to start coding. Just as the flow component, I need to create first the scroll component. So I'm going to call it scroll, and then I'm going to say equals new scroll component. Then after that, you're going to see a preview of this scroll component here. You can edit this scroll component just like a, you would edit an animation in AutoCode. So you can edit the position, the size, and even the radius and background and other properties. For now, I'm just going to write the size of it to be the size of the screen with this code. And now I need to assign the scroll component to my list. So I'm going to go ahead and say list the parent equals a scroll. And I'm going to say that the content is what's scrollable. There you go. So now this should be scrollable. Scrolls all the way up and all the way down, but it's also scrolling horizontally. So I want to be able to constrain that. So I'm going to say here under the scroll component, I'm going to say scroll horizontal and I'm going to say false. So now it's only scrolling vertically. There you go. You can also add an inset to the content of your scroll. So here, for example, I'm going to say scroll content inset. I'm going to say that it's going to be from the bottom. Let's say that it has 100 pixels from the bottom on the inset. So now, when I scroll all the way here, see how it's adding 100 pixels here. Let's add a little bit more. When I scroll all the way down, see it added an inset here. Let's add a little bit of inset on the top too. So I'm going to say top, I'm going to add 50 pixels. So now see how it's adding an inset here on my scrolling. I scroll all the way down, and it's also adding an inset here on the bottom. You can trigger events when you scroll too. You can do it when the scrolling starts, when the scrolling ends, or when it reaches a certain position. On this example, we're going to create an animation of this circle when the scrolling reaches a certain vertical position. I have all this code, but let's do it from scratch. So over here on my design tab, I have the list that I want to be scrollable. And I also have an element that is going to be animated into the scene. This one is called layer A, and I already created a target. And this one is just called list, and I also created a target already. So the first thing that I want to do is add a new scroll component. And I'm going to call this a scroll. Scroll equals new scroll component. There you go. And I'm going to say that the size of this component, as you can see right now, it's, it's a little bit too small. So I'm going to say that the size of this component is going to be the screen size. And I write this code to do that. I'm also going to limit the scrolling to the vertical scrolling. So I'm going to say a scroll horizontal false. There you go. Now I need to add the scrolling component to my list. So I'm going to say list parent equals scroll dot content. That way is a content that is a scrollable. Let's see. Okay, now it's a scrollable. Now let's add an event that when this scrolling reaches a certain Y position, then the circle that is outside the screen is going to come inside the screen. So the first thing is I want to say that the scroll on scroll, this is going to be my event, then I'm going to put the parameter 
if a scroll reaches a certain Y position, which will be more than 20 pixels, then layer A, which is a circle that, I, that is outside, I want to animate it. And I want it to be the Y position to go to 16 pixels. Let's see it. See? Let's reload it. When it starts scrolling, and when it reaches a certain position, then the circle comes into place. Let's do the opposite, where it comes back, then the circle exits the screen. So I'm going to say, if, inside this same one, if the scroll of the scroll Y, scroll Y is less than 20, then the layer A animates with the Y position, let's say minus 100. Let's see what this does. It scrolls up, then it comes into position, and if I scroll down, then it exits the screen. It's a little bit too slow, so I'm going to change also the options on the animation. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say options. And I'm going to say that the time probably 0.3 seconds will be nice. Let's go and do the same here. Options. I'm going to say that the time is 0.3. So let's see it. It's a little bit faster, much better. And that's it. Right now, with the scrolling, I'm triggering an animation of this circle. The scrolling at a certain position. You could also use a different event like a scroll start or scroll end. So for example here, I'm saying that the scroll on scroll start, then it starts animating. And when it start, it stops scrolling, then it goes back. See how it bounces? Starts scrolling and it's there. And when it stops scrolling, then it goes back.